Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I'm doing an anonymous review. Hi Archie, to start off with I'd like to request that you don't mention my name on the channel and I've just donated $20 to your awesome channel for a video reply. Let us begin then. I enjoy your channel. I enjoy watching your channel and have been watching it for a very long time and you definitely make me laugh. Let us talk watches now. I got my first acquisition in 2012 unexpectedly. I went with my friends to the shop where they went ahead and had their watches reserved and bought them and then my friend told me why don't you try on a Submariner? And I did but didn't want to spend a part of my saving on a watch. The reason behind that is having emergency cash on the side. So I looked at the display and they didn't have the Rolex Submariner 116610 LV on display. So I said to the salesman that if you could get a Rolex Submariner it would be the Hulk or nothing else. I initially wanted the GMT but they had the black, black one only. The salesman asked me to hold on for a few minutes and went to the back and fiddled around and brought the watch to me and told me the 116610 LV is the last piece that he had in stock. So I couldn't go back on my word and managed to get it and told him that I would pay 7,900 US dollars or I wouldn't be getting it. Long story short, they were asking 10,000 US and I squeezed the living hell out of him and managed to get it for 7,900 brand new virgin piece. Fast forward till today. I managed to squeeze myself and work as hard as I could to be able to have extra money on the side and I think it's time for me to get my hands on a new watch. I am unable to wear the 116610 LV every day because of the colour and it doesn't suit everything that I would wear. So I'm looking to get a daily beater and one of my friends suggested that I get a vintage Rolex as their prices will go higher than what they are now in five years time and I'm looking to get a high-end watch. The high-end watch I want is for investment purposes and would want to sell it within a year or so to get a profit out of it. Keep in mind, I'm not a fan of AP for some reason, but I've never liked this watch and added to that, I do not want to spend more than 50,000 US dollars on both watches. That's the price of pre-owned watches and not retail. I don't want to spend money on retail price watches. I'm currently 26 and I've worked really hard to where I am today and wouldn't want to be losing my money like everyone around me. I want to have my money safe and sound in a place that would last me a lifetime if I don't sell it. Added to my previous messages, I am on the waiting list for a watch called DMH, Dingerman's Mercantile Holes. I like the watch because it relates to a passionate individual that is doing everything by himself from A to Z and he is one, a one man army and wanted to show support and, and admiration to what he is doing. Please let me know of this watch and what you think. Plus, let me know of a watch brand, HYT, because a friend was praising it a lot and I've never heard of it, heard of them until recently. It looks so fucking sick. P.S. This is for your only info. I managed to get extremely prices on brand new Rolex watches, which would have been expensive. It would be more expensive than pre-owned by around. Okay, yep. Points. So this is a non. Okay, well look. Keep in mind. Okay, so he wants to get. He, so he's got a. Uh, he's got a Hulk. Rolex Submariner. Cool watch. He's saying to me he wants to spend no more than 50000 on both watches. Look, you know what I really think here? Are you an investor? Are you a collector? What are you trying to do? My honest advice here, DMH, stay away from it. That will lose money. Okay, there's a lot of, lot of boutique brands there. If you like the watch, buy it. But you... This, this email you've sent me, you're so contradicting. You want an investment, you want this. You can't fucking have it all, okay? My advice to you, you want my advice? I think you've raised a very good point there. Personally, I think you need some usable watches. So you've got a, you've got a nice, beautiful Rolex Submariner. What else would I add to it? I'll tell you what I'd fucking add to it. I'd add number one. 
I'd add an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking Moon. You can pick those up pre-owned for about three thousand US dollars. That'd be a great purchase. Beautiful watch, that. No problems at all. What else would I add to my collection? I'd add a fucking Reverso. Add a Jaguar La Culture Reverso. Okay, they are great on the second-hand market. Great buy. You can get a nice one of those. It doesn't have to be. This is the Reverso Grand date, but I'd get a Re Reverso Grand, the bigger size, steel, manual wine. That's the two key points. Seven, seven to ten thousand US dollars will get you a beautiful Reverso as your dress steel watch. What else do you need? What else do you need? I'd be getting some sort of GMT function Rolex, whether it's an Explorer 2, which I absolutely love. It's a great reason to have a white dial sports watch. Or you go for a GMT. Get one of those. I reckon the sweet spot, if you want the absolute sweet spot, is the pre-42 pre mil last model with the solid end links. No holes case. I'd get one of those. You can pick them up for about five. And uh, I'd also get another piece just to ease the squeeze. Another piece. I'd get a fucking day chest. So versatile. You can wear it anywhere. It's just a great everyday piece. So what's this going to cost you second hand? Let's, let's have a look at this. Okay, so, so let's have a look at this. Let's say we go 10 on a Reverso that you could possibly... Uh, no, let's say 7. 7 on a Reverso. This is US dollars. 7. A Speedy would be 3. That makes it 10,000. And Explorer 2, 5, that makes it 15,000. And a nice Datejust. Get one of those for about three to 5,000. So under 20,000 US dollars, we got some really usable pieces. You talk about you want something that's going to go up in value, increase. Seriously. Are you buying these watches for investment? My advice is to Rolexes are a great watch to have. But for an investment, sounds like you don't want to waste money as uh, buying these things. Put them into put it into a good diversified portfolio of investment assets like shares, a bit of cash, currency. <clears throat> That's that's probably a better investment, but under twenty thousand, that's what I'd be buying. Watches, look, it's a very very tough tough arena there. It's hard to pick. You're better off to pick. Buying watches is a bit like buying art. Buy pieces you love, and then if it increases, great. If not, you're enjoying it, and that's the whole thing. I I would really say to you. The way you've worded this here, the, the, these boutique brands, fuck me dead. Stay away from them. Stay away from them. DMH or HYT, they are all fucking shitters on the used market. You, you, you seem to be very conscious of, you don't want to lose money, you want to be careful and cautious. Get a couple of watches which will give you pleasure. <clears throat> Get steel. Get steel. And enjoy them. But as far as investments go, look, put your money in. There are better, better investments than watches. I've done the 10-year equation with luxury goods. That, that's a poor investment. You enjoy them and love them, well, that's, that's okay. But they're not a great investment. So uh, my advice to you, I'd spend $20,000, get a nice collection of steel stunners. It's going to make you happy. It's going to give you fun. 20000 Invest the rest wisely. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid.